So come we're running at the, the short time. The, the, the event of the century. Yeah? The artist match for a long time. Arden, aka Wakanda versus Monroe, Angry Birds. And I can tell you people, at the end of that match, the city on the hill is probably gonna kill. But let me give you the insight into why I, 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 I started out like that. So first of all, this was a straight ding dong. Straight ding dong. The only thing that was missing from that match was the Ravers Claimers dancers. God, ding dong was up in there. The speed section. The speed section. Oh my. Sorry. The buzzer section. The buzzer section was like stocky. Tickling. Take it back. Tickling. Take it back. Out of that trail by two. Then out of that trail by two. Then out of that trail by And back and forth. Back and forth. It was neck and neck and neck. Highly intense. And Monroe, you could have won, but you know, careless. So let's talk about my girl, the captain from Arden side. I'm, I'm a girl, yeah. She never looked the, the usual, you know, assertive. She never did a, a, a lick where I slap for like the previous matches. I don't know if it's the downtime from COVID, but I've seen her in better shape before. And even at the end of the match, you could on her face, despite the fact that Arden won. You can say she never hundred percent happy with the performance, but I win is a win for now. Soon touch on the end result is that Arden won thirty one and Monroe was twenty nine. But you're the utter claps, yeah. Me have busting the panda with the utter claps. H a t t a c l a p s or h a t a c l a p s. Utter claps. In Jamaican terminology, it's used to describe something that's very disturbing. You know, something that's not in a good state. Almost horrible like. So Arden was declared the, the victor for the match. However, there's a discrepancy now circulating from a video clip that's been reviewed. Or a, a lot of person may have seen it. I'm going to upload it and show you guys. There's an instant in the buzzer section where a question was asked. I think it was a math question. And both schools, when they buzzed in, Marlene acknowledged that it was Arden who were the ones who beat the buzzer who were the who buzz in first looking at the actual footage the light went on on monroe's side not our dance so i don't understand why during the time that they deliberate after the match that the coaches didn't pick this up you know why don't wait till it done gone out into the public it's released it's edited and everything and now you're seeing that something is off so i'm curious to see what's going to happen on monday in terms of how they're going to treat this an article bought for 200 dollars was sold for 350 dollars what was the percentage <laughs> 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 With that said, guys, I'm gonna take myself back into my kitchen, finish up my soup because that chicken would go to the supermarket, go back. I'm realizing they done in at the niggle of the soup. I realize it. No chicken order. Not cool, PJ. Not cool. So that being said, have a safe weekend, guys. I'll see you on Monday, if not, you know, Tuesday morning to give the feedback in terms of how the adjudicators are gonna handle this discrepancy. And of course, we'll get the highlights of the matches that will be played, which will be Titchfield versus Calabar. And Campion versus Jago. Um, my favorites, you know, so Titchfield, Titchfield, I'm a thing, you know, Titchfield, I'm a thing. Pony, Tony Pony, I'm, I'm rooting for you, right? Between Jago and Campion, it's anybody's game, but it, it should be great. It really should be great. So stay tuned, and I'll see you guys Monday evening or Tuesday morning. Toodles.